Welcome to this video about getting started with Activity and Expense Tracker. This software comes in three versions Any Tracker, Any Tracker for Workgroups, and Any Tracker Plus. They are all basically the same, but this is the Plus version. Any Tracker is designed to keep track of all your tasks or activities during the day. These could be billable activities or non billable ones that need to get done but can get in the way of being productive. By keeping track of both, you can become better organized and learn to spend more time on billable tasks. You will also be able to keep track of all the minutes you spend working on each project, which will help you make more money. The first thing to do is to create lists of projects and activities. Activities can be anything you do during the day, regardless of which project they are associated with. These might include meetings, travel, phone calls, and whatever your primary tasks are. To add an activity, click Add Select Activity and then Create Activity. Next, enter the name of the new activity. For example, Programming. You will be asked if you charge an hourly rate or a flat rate or if this is a non billable activity. Flat rates are normally daily rates because you generally will have one record per activity per day per client per project. When you click per hour, you will be asked for the rate per hour for the activity. We'll enter 75. As you can see, the activity is added to the list. If you need to modify the name or rate for this activity, click Modify Activity. You can change the name or rate to a different hourly rate, a flat rate, or make it non-billable. You can add notes about the activity by clicking the description button. And you can remove an activity from the list at any time by clicking delete activity. If you generally want to add descriptions to your activities, enable the prompt for description on creation option. Projects are generally jobs you do for a client, such as creating a specific document. It can also be used to group activities together, such as anything associated with a newsletter or website. To create a project, click Add Select Project and then Create Project. Enter the name of the project, for example, ebook, and click OK. You can also add descriptions to projects and modify or delete them at any time. You can add a project rate to the description, which will override the activity rate if you so desire. If you can't come up with a reasonable project name, you can just use none. Clients are people or companies that write you checks. You add clients to the list by clicking Add Select Client and then Create Client. Enter the name of the client and click OK. You can also add descriptions to clients and modify or delete them. You can add a client rate to the description, which will override the activity rate if you so desire. If you are not working for a client, you can use none or enter your own name. Similarly, you can add expenses to the expense list by clicking Add Select Expense and then Create Expense. Enter the type of the new expense, for example, FedEx. You can specify a fixed amount for the expense item, or just click OK, and the program will ask you for the amount when you choose that expense type. You can modify or delete expense types at any time. You can also import and export lists of expenses, projects, clients, or activities by clicking the Import Export button in that window. To create a new record in any tracker, just click New. You will be asked if you want to create a blank record, another record for the current client, or client and project, or client, project, and activity. Let's create a new blank record. A list of clients appears for you to choose from. 
you can double click on an item in the list to choose it. After selecting a client, the list of projects appears. After selecting a project, the list of activities appears. The rate associated with the activity is entered into the rate field. You can change the rate for this new record to another rate, including a daily rate, a client rate, a project rate, or make it non-billable. If you have already completed the task and are just catching up with your time accounting, you can enter the start time and end time by clicking the Choose or Now buttons. Clicking Choose gives you a window where you can set the time using either of two methods. You can select an hour and the minutes or switch to the original chooser, which you may or may not prefer. Either way, finish by clicking Set Time. Clicking the Now button enters the current date and time. You can also click the field directly and enter the time in 24-hour or AM-PM notation. The Choose buttons above the Date and End Date fields provide a calendar date chooser. Click these arrows to change the year and these to change the month. Click the day to transfer the date to any tracker. In any tracker for workgroups, the end date field toggles with a username field and an add select user button. You can click the total time field or the edit button to enter a number of hours in decimal format or hours and minutes. The best way to use this software, though, is to use the timer feature. Whenever you start an activity, just click Start Timer. When you want to take a break, click Pause. When you want to start the timer again, click Go. When you are finished with that task for the day, click Stop. You can view the times you started, paused, resumed, and stopped the timer in the timer log. You can also edit these times if you wish, or add or delete lines from the log. Editing the log updates the total time field. Use the Favorites List menu to switch between common activities throughout the day. To do this, whenever you create a new client, project, activity, and rate combination that you think you will want to use often, Choose Add to Favorites List. To delete a favorite or sort your favorites list, choose Edit Favorites List. By using the Favorites List, you can quickly switch between activities during the day. When you choose a favorite, you will be taken to either an existing record or a new record for that activity for that day. The timer on the current record is stopped and the timer on the new record is automatically started. It is possible to have multiple timers running if this makes sense for you. You can tell when a timer is running by observing the buttons, the field label, or the TR indicator. When you pause the timer, the label, the buttons, and the indicator change. You can easily return to a current record by clicking the indicator. Going to another record or even quitting the program does not stop the timer. This means that if you forget to stop a timer, when you come back to any tracker, the timer may have reached its limit. This is normally 24 hours, but you can change it by clicking this label. One other thing about the timer is that you can collapse the a &E Tracker window so only the timer and the favorites menu are visible. You can also move it to a more convenient place on your monitor. Click Restore to bring the a &E Tracker window back to its normal size. You can keep any amount of notes about the activity in this Notes field. 
You can record an estimate of the time you think an activity will take in the estimated time field. The time variance field is updated whenever the total time field is updated. As you are working, you can keep track of any expenses you incur by clicking Add Select Expenses and creating or choosing an expense type. If there is not a set amount specified, you will be asked for an amount. You can also keep track of travel miles or kilometers and enter any expense notes. You can even type a list of expenses in the notes field and then click total expenses. This will cause the total of the numbers in the notes field to be added to any expenses and travel amount. The new total will be entered into the expense amount field. At any time you can get a running total of how many hours you have spent on a project by clicking quick check. You can also get a report of all the records for a client or project by clicking table view. In either of these windows you can select a date range and specify a different client or project. In the table view window you can easily go to another record by double clicking a line in the table. Use the first, previous, next, or last buttons to go to another record. You can also click on the record number field to go to a specific record if you know the record number. Clicking invoices and reports opens this window which has many report options. In the time and expense reports section you can specify a start date, an end date, or choose a date range from the dates menu. You can select one, several, or all clients, projects, and activities. In the workgroup version, you can also select one or more usernames and sort by user. Choose from any or all of these options. Include record numbers for test reports so you can easily go to that record. If the All Uninvoiced option is selected, only records that are not marked invoiced will be reported. More on this in a moment. You can also sort the report by any of these options and round off total times to either minutes or hours. For example, 0.25 hours equals 15 minutes. You can also only round up times. Add a header or a footer by clicking one of these edit buttons. You can add pretty much any amount of text to these fields. You can also save the text to a file and import it later for different circumstances. Click Create Report to generate the report. You will be notified if there is a timer running and reminded that these records are not included in the report. You can save the report as a text file, copy it to an Excel file, change the font or size of the text, and print the report. It is even possible to translate the report, but this requires a translation table to be created. Click the Invoices tab to create an invoice. As in the report, you can select any range of dates, but you are limited to one client at a time. Most of the other options are the same, except you can mark up expenses by any amount you specify and add a VAT or other tax of any amount. You can specify an invoice number here but if you don't, one will be suggested when you click the Create Invoice button. In Any Tracker Plus, you will be asked if you want to address the invoice to a client in Contact Tracker. You have a choice of reusing the last invoice number, specifying the next or some other number, 
or choosing none. As you can see, the invoice has a customizable header which contains fields for your company name and address. Click Edit Header to reveal these buttons and controls, including Import Logo, Change Name Font, and Address Font. You can reposition or hide any of these three elements and hide the border. You can also export a header and import another if you have several businesses. The Only on Page 1 option removes the header from other pages. You can also remove the header completely or remove the page numbers that appear at the bottom of each page. In Amy Tracker Plus, you can automatically mark all records included in the invoice as invoiced and create an a &E invoice record for the invoice by clicking the Transfer to Invoice Tracker button. In the regular version of a &E Tracker, this button just reads Mark Records as Invoiced. In addition to printing the invoice, you can also copy it to your email program. Here is the invoice button on the a &E Tracker record. When this is marked, you can't make any further changes to the record. When the invoice is paid, this button will be marked. If you do not want a record to be invoiced, click the On Hold option. You can delete one or all records by clicking this button. Click Find to search all records for a certain string. Sort the a and &E Tracker records by date, client, project, activity, invoice, paid, on hold, or invoice number. Click Export to save the records to a backup or export file. Click Import to import either an any tracker export file or an export file from Time Slips or QuickBooks. Both export and backup files can be read by any text editor. Backup files have BAK extensions and export files have .txt extensions. Only backup files can be restored. Only export files can be imported. Whenever you change records or quit the program, all the data is saved. If you make changes and want to save without changing records or closing the program, click the Save button. When you click Quit in a registered version of the program, a backup file will automatically be created. It is a good idea to check the backup file and copy it to another disk every week or so. Click Press to change the monetary symbol or format to any non-U.S. currency. You can also change the number of decimal places and the tax type to GST, VAT, or other. Click the Colors tab to change the background colors or the button colors. Click the Formats tab to change times to 24-hour format, distances to kilometers, dates to European format, and liquids to liters. Here is where you access the Translations table. Click Help for more information. For more information about any of these features, click the Help button in the a and &E Tracker or other windows. Main topics are accessed via these tabs. Other subjects can be found in the Help Index or by using the Search Help feature. We intend that you find that using a &E Tracker saves you time, keeps you better organized, and helps you make more money.